Today, I'm gonna to share with you how I lost 30 pounds without exercising or dieting. Before we jump into the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Right out of college, I had gained about 30 to 35 pounds. I felt very uncomfortable in my body. I can look at pictures and just see the swelling in my face and the puffiness and just how uncomfortable I was. I moved to LA for a job, started doing the whole work with a personal trainer, she gave me um, a nutrition guide, how many calories I should be eating, and I started doing that whole thing, counting calories, working out excessively. It wasn't doing anything. If anything, I definitely gained weight, but I definitely was not seeing just my puffiness go down or just how I was feeling. I, it, that was not improving. Yes, I was definitely like, drinking and eating and enjoying myself, but there was always that like guilt in the back of my head of like, oh gosh, this isn't gonna fit in with my calorie count. This isn't going to help me lose weight. I actually ended up saying, screw it. And I just threw all the rules out the window because a big thing I was finding is I would get to the end of the day and I would have not eaten for such a long period of time that I would be starving and I actually would never always hit that calorie count that she had given me. Um, and she would be like, you gotta eat more, you gotta eat more. And I just felt like, oh, I can't eat anymore. Like I don't wanna eat another rice cake. I don't wanna eat another egg white salad. I don't wanna eat another egg white omelet. Like I just don't wanna eat anymore. And I was like, why am I doing this? This is so stupid. Like it's not working. Why am I doing this? And so I ended up just throwing all the rules out the window. And I was like, you know what? I am only gonna eat when I'm hungry and I'm gonna eat whatever the hell I want. I just decided I can trust myself with food basically, like I can trust myself to make good, healthy decisions and I'm only gonna eat when I'm hungry. Because even my mom would point out, like we would go out to dinner and we would eat and I would eat my dinner and I would eat my meal and we would come home and I would still be hungry. And it was like my body was just craving nutrition. Like it couldn't get enough. It couldn't get enough nutrition. It couldn't get what I was eating out of the food that I was eating. I threw all the rules out the window and I just naturally started to what I know now was intermittent fast. I was like, I'm not hungry in the morning. I'm gonna make my tea, go for a workout or do a home workout and then I'll eat when I'm hungry. And unbeknownst to me, I would do about probably at least a 12, sometimes 14, sometimes 16 hour fast. And this was in 2012, 2013. And so this was well before intermittent fasting or anything like that had come to the market. I just naturally kind of fell into that and I started to feel so much better. Like I didn't constantly feel bloated and that was the biggest thing. I was always bloated. I always just felt like I was pregnant, had to unbutton my pants. It was just so uncomfortable. And so my bloating started to go away. And then all of a sudden people started saying like, Danny, what are you doing? Like, you look great. What are you doing? What are you doing? And I'm like, what? Like, I kind of noticed that my pants had started to get a little bit baggy, but, and then I was either in scrubs or in like spandex, like tights, like leggings. And so in my head, I was like, oh, maybe they're just like stretched out and I need to get a new one. But people kept coming up to me, like friends and family, they would just ask, like, Danny, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I would be like, I don't know. Like, I'm just eating what I want. And I would feel so guilty saying that because people were just like, what do you mean you're eating whatever you want? I'm like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm eating whatever I want. And I'm like only eating when I'm hungry. I couldn't give them an answer because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I just kind of fell into that and really like honed into my body and started listening to my body instead of listening to all these people tell me what I should do with my body. I don't quite know the like timeline, but I think it happened pretty fast because people were really interested in the beginning and then they kind of got a little bit concerned. Like, are you okay? Like you're losing weight really quickly and I'm like, I'm fine. For me, I have always struggled with gut issues. I've always struggled with gut issues even when I was a little kid like a little girl I would remember being in the bathroom and just like curled up in a ball with the worst stomach ache and the only thing that would relieve it is until I was finally able to go to the bathroom when I started doing this intermittent fasting my gut was finally like I wasn't afraid to go out and have my gut turn on me because that has happened 
I can tell you some stories, especially in college. Oh my gosh, like I was the girl that was in the bathroom for 45 minutes and then I finally came out and of course someone wanted to walk right in and they were like, what did you just do to that bathroom? And I was like, hi, yeah, I need to go and like die in a hole right now. Needless to say, intermittent fasting truly changed my life. You can see the inflammation just kind of like melted away from me. There are very important things you have to take into consideration when fasting as a female with her cycle because there are certain points in your cycle you don't want to be fasting because it can mess with your hormones. If you are wanting to look into intermittent fasting, be sure you grab the book Fast Like a Girl by Dr. Mindy Peltz. It is such an amazing book and it walks you through every single phase of your cycle and when you should be fasting and when you should not be fasting, when you can do longer periods of fasting and when you should just be doing more intermittent fasting, which is like that 12 to 15 hour fast and the benefits for longevity, gut reset, hormone balancing, cortisol leveling is will blow your mind. And we're so used to thinking we need to be eating all of the time, small meals to keep our metabolism going, and that's really not the case. Try it all, you're sick of the dieting, you just want to shed a few pounds, or maybe, maybe even a lot of pounds. <laughs> Intermittent fasting can be so beneficial, so beneficial. And it was for me, and if I feel like it really reset my gut. Not only did it help me lose 30 pounds, and that's 30 pounds of fat and inflammation. I mean, again, looking at the two photos side by side, I was just so inflamed. And when we fast, it really gives our gut a rest. Go in, clean up whatever needs to be cleaned up, heal whatever needs to be healed, give it some time to kind of collect itself, and then start eating again, digesting again, absorbing nutrients again. And it also helped me, I had horrible periods as far as cramping goes and symptoms go, and I also had very sporadic periods. Would go 45 days, then 32 days, then I think 50 days. I think it really all stemmed from my gut because my gut was just such a wreck. It really all started with intermittent fasting. I feel so good in my body now, and I don't take health for granted anymore. Intermittent fasting truly changed my life. I hope that was helpful. Again, comment below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.